What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Cork to Glory, this is episode number 40. And we start today's episode off by seeing that five of our players are going on international duty between the 19th of 25th of March as well. And that means they're going to miss the game at home to Derby County as the rounds will take us on the turns cross. After this first game of five in today's episode against Swansea City away in Wales, you might have noticed we've got two Northern Irish players going away. Patrick Keating's going away, but... Nobody else in the outfield positions, no Rory Keenan, Barry Sharkey, Eamon Cunningham are going away with Ireland. But we are going to miss both of our top two goalkeepers, Gavin Bazunu and Kelleher as well. That is going to be a little bit worrying indeed. But still, for the first of five in today's episode as we look to close out March and keep ourselves in the race for the title with the Saints right now, 11 points clear. Taking on Twansea away at the Liberty Stadium on the back of six wins in our last seven games and no losses in our last seven as well. The last defeat coming on New Year's Eve to Birmingham City. Taking on the Swansea away in Wales. Looking to extend what has been an amazing away record this season. Whilst we did take the lead in the first start, 16 minutes to go the Swans would find their level and I was thinking, God seriously we can't afford back to back draws man because West Brom are going to put so much pressure on me heading into the final seven games I think I'll probably choke it we need to win this game we've got to find someone that steps up out there and is the hero for us gives us the three points and this dude is the hero of Cork City this season he's still pursuing 40 goals in the championship he knows he's going to win the golden boot but he also knows we need promotion to go along with it as well 11 minutes to go so good they named him twice Samuel Bell Bell gives us the three points there and gives us a massive win to keep the gap between us and West Brom to eight points and whilst the Baggies do still have the game in hand that means destiny is firmly in our own hands right now for the second of five games in today's episode it would, be, it would indeed be Derby County here uh, coming to turn us across and again we were missing Kelleher and Buzunu so that meant that McConnell would go in goal for this game here first game I've used them and I've got to be honest I was feeling really really nervous because you know on paper you'd think this is a banker but I thought without our starting two goalkeepers I've got to make sure I'm locked in defensively and with 11 minutes after the restart here still tied at 0-0 what a last ditch tackle by Leo Yates you saw the red card in the last episode he got against Coventry I've talked about his footwork so many times being the weakest part of his game but every now and then he makes a last ditch tackle and I'm like okay that's why I still have this guy in my team because he's so good defensively and he's so so big from corners as we know as well so big tackle there at the other end Bell Bell makes it 1-0 and then a few minutes later this has got to be a contender for goal of this season right I love that skill move so much I don't know what it's called but it's like a step over into like a um, like a dribble move I don't know what you actually call that combination of skill moves there but it looks so so cool. Cunning with a fake rebound into the step over to the whatever it's called. I'm not sure what you call that. You have to let me know in the comments. But wonderful little piece of dribbling and the finish into the top corner as well. Belbo and Cunning have scoring the two goals in the five minutes there to give us the three points. Another victory and our eighth win in our last nine games. So fantastic record for Cork. Still undefeated since the defeat to Birmingham back in January. And for our third game of five in today's episode, looking for revenge in revenge season on the team that knocked out of the FA Cup fourth round. Barnsley coming to take us on here in Ireland. And I just mentioned him a moment ago. Do it with me, guys. Leo, Leo. Big Leo scores our first of the game. And I mentioned it before as well. Like, even if he doesn't score directly from the first attempt from the corner, I've said this many times. The reason why I still always do it is because there's always a second chance opportunity there's practically always a second opportunity to get a goal he headed the ball off the bar and it was first to the rebound and the loose ball to turn in from close range and give us the lead and make it 1-0 and whilst Barnsley would score a lovely team goal with 25 minutes to go that was brilliant passing and movement there as they found their leveler and got back on level terms that was brilliant from the AI like I literally had to tip my hat when that goal got scored there they sucked me out and found the opening and the finish as well and got back on level terms and made it 1-1 I wasn't prepared to have our second draw in five ga in four games. Sorry, I needed to make sure this would be yet another victory. And when you need someone to step up, you normally look for one of three players, either Samuel Bell Bell, Eamon Cunningham, or the left back, the new club captain, Barry Shark. He's been big this season and directly from kickoff, the captain, the skipper, gives us the victory to close out March. So five games to go in the championship. And as you can see at the table, we're 11 points behind the Saints still. We're not giving up yet. We go to St. Mary's for our next game, but we're 10 points off West Brom. And that means if we win the next game against 
against Southampton and West Brom fail to match our result, then we will guarantee promotion with four games to go. Obviously, that's easier said than done because we're away against the Saints who have the best record in the division. They're 11 points clear. And if they win the game at St. Mary's, they'll win the title as well. So it's really interesting right now that there's a double digit gap between first to second and second to third. With five games to go, it's still not over yet and there's still so much to be decided, but also so much that can be decided based on how results go around the country in this match day 42. It's such an interesting lead table right now. You know, like you genuinely don't know what's going to happen. You don't know who's going to finish where, even though it already seems kind of set with the double digit gaps. It's really, really crazy, but still for the penultimate game of today's episode, Southampton away at St. Mary's. And again, heading in to this game here, knowing that a win in this one and West Brom failing to match our result would give us the title. But with Southampton knowing if they would win this game, they would win the title themselves. Yeah, this was going to be a battle of just who wanted it more today. Did Southampton want the title today? Did we want promotion today? Who was going to come out on top in the battle of mentality in this game? And as I mentioned, whilst the Saints have been the front runners all season long, they've been the best team all division long. We knew they would be at the very start of the season. The one thing that's been different for us this year is that our away record has been phenomenal. Only one defeat all campaign long. That was on match day two away at the Medeski. And it's revenge season. I've said it so many times, man. But the one thing I did not want, which really would have killed my mood completely, was to watch Southampton win the title and me see celebration animations at full time. I didn't want that. Like, I'm sorry, but like heading into the game, I was like, I'm not letting it happen. Like seriously, because you know I'd record it and I'd put it in the video for you. But I didn't want to see it, man. I didn't want to see Southampton win the title at our expense with a few games to go. So we took the lead through Bell Bell. The Saints got back on level terms, but then. Four minutes after the restart. Oh, I was going mental when this happened, man. Barry Sharkey out of the academy. First man in episode number two. New club captain. Gets his second in two. Puts us back in front. I love the Shark to absolute pieces. And with 15 minutes to go, the Saints pressing for a leveler. Looking for an equaliser. Through ball to you know who. And it's goal number 37 in the championship for our number nine, who's so good they named him twice. Samuel Belbel gives us a two-goal cushion with his brace with 14 minutes to go and wraps up the three points. Southampton 1, Cork City 3. Just their third defeat of the season. Two of those defeats have been by us. And with four games to go, you can see the gap between us and West Brom remains at 10 as they did match our result on the South Coast there. But we have cut the gap on the Saints with four games to to go to eight points. So look, Destiny's still firmly in our own hands. We need to win three of our last four minimum and they need to lose three of their last four minimum as well. But it's still possible. It's still possible. We'll chase Southampton all the very way. But it does mean that with four games to go, if we would win this one, our final game of today's episode, Hull City newly promoted with nothing to play for at Turner's Cross, we would guarantee promotion and West Brom would not be able to catch us with three games to go. So, fittingly, Hull would take the lead, right? Of course you knew that would happen. Hull would take the lead and get in front. And I was like, for God's sake, no, I'm not beating Southampton and then bottling promotion in the final game of the episode against the side in mid-tay with nothing to play for at home. I'm not letting that happen. So, Bell Bell gets us back on level terms there. With goal number 38, we're, we equalise, we're right back on level terms, and a few minutes later, I was just like so furious and conceding the early goal. I had to get us back in the game, back on level terms, and then in front for the first time. And it's Bell Bell, bags his brace, goal number 39 in the championship. We go in front for the first time in the game. I was like, okay, here we go. Here we go. Come on, I'm not bottling promotion today. I want to do it with three games to spare in front of our home crowd. So 2 1, we're in front for the first time with 12 minutes to go. Adam Ida, surely a future signing for Cork City makes it 2-2 as the Irish striker puts Hull back on level terms in a really topsy-turvy affair and it was looking like promotion had been bottled and Ida had stopped us from getting to the Premier League with four games to go with a minute of normal time remaining. Divine offloads to Samuel and this was the coolest thing in the world because you've been counting down the goals with me in his pursuit of 40 and how fitting was this in this game here. This is this is literally like fairy tale stuff, man. Samuel Bell Bell bags the hat trick, gets the match ball, wins us the game, and secures our promotion to the Premier League. 
with goal number 40. Yep, it is official. Ivan Tony, welcome your brother Samuel to the club. Yep, only two players have done it for me ever. 40 goals in a single league campaign. As I mentioned before, it's not quite as impressive as Tony's because obviously this is the second tier of English football. Tony's was in the Premier League. Tony had less games to do it. 38 in the Premier League compared to 46 in the Football League. But either way, it's still only the second time I've done it. So you know I'm buzzing. And it was just so fitting. So fitting. A last minute winner from Samuel Belbel to get goal number 40 and guarantee promotion to the Premier League with three games to go. It is official, baby. Cork City heading to the top flight absolutely buzzing i called this revenge season and it certainly has been you love to see it and with five uh, with three games to go the gap between us and southampton has also been cut to five as well just five points separating us from the league leaders with three games to go in the championship promotion is secure bell bells hit 40 but it's not over yet. We could still win the title and come from nowhere to grasp it and take it away from Southampton. I called it a revenge season. Let's go do it, baby. But that was it, sister, guys. If you enjoyed it, if you had then please drop a like. Much love to you all. Have a fantastic day. And I'll see you for the season finale of Cork to Glory as we go for the championship title very soon.